Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss about a very important topic, mainly leaf area index. How we can easily use remote sensing to crop health monitoring in Google Earth Engine platform. So basically, leaf area index we can use for the different types of crop monitoring. So let's say about that. I try to discuss about the all of those techniques and how we can easily make leaf area index and monitor the crop health in Google Earth Engine platform. I will uh, try to discuss all of those things one by one. So let's go. So first of all, what is LAI? So mainly LAI is the leaf area index. So now leaf area index is a critical parameter in accessing the crop health and productivity. Mainly it's defined as the total one-sided green leaf area per unit of ground area. And it plays a vital role in various plant psychological process as well as including the photosynthesis and the transpiration and nutrient uptake. And there's a lot of importance of leaf area index in crop health monitoring because this type of parameter photosynthetic capacity we can easily identify using the leaf area index values. So mainly higher leaf area index value indicate the greater photosynthetic activity and leading to enhance the crop growth and yield. So mainly when you want to make the leaf area index and the higher leaf area index value indicate the greater photosynthetic activity. And then from that we can easily get the good crop. And also water use efficiency. So mainly leaf area index influence the plant water use efficiency by regulating the transpiration rate as well as nutrient uptake. Leaf area index reflect the plant's ability to absorb and utilize the nutrient essential for growth. Stress tolerance. So leaf area index can indicate the plant resilience and to environmental stress such as drought, heat and pest. So in this time, we are just talking about that. What is the technique we can use to remote sensing for leaf area index estimation. So there are a lot of technique we can easily apply to identify the leaf area index. So mainly here you can see when you want to work for the uh, satellite imagery. So mainly if you want, you can use here the Landsat or Sentinel or uh, any other high resolution imagery suitable for leaf area index estimation at large scale. We can easily do it using the satellite images. And this is the formula about that uh, leaf area index, you can see. And I also uh, put here the uh, citation about that who uh, developed this equation, leaf area index equation, as well as also you can see in this time EVI. So we also need to calculate the EVI also. So first of all, we need to create the EVI, which is mainly enhanced vegetation index. So this is the formula about the EVI. And after the EVI, you can just calculate this formula. 3.618, you know, multiply with EVI result, subtract with 0 0.118, then we can easily get the leaf area index. And there's a lot of application of leaf area index in crop health monitoring, such as crop growth monitoring. We can easily uh, identify or indicating the crop growth stage and identify the potential anomalies of nutrient deficiencies as well as yield prediction. Leaf area index can be incorporated into crop yield models to improve the prediction accuracy, as well as stress detection. Mainly leaf area index change can be single plant stress caused by the drought, heat or nutrient imbalances. And the irrigation management. Leaf area index can guide irrigation scheduling to optimizing the water use efficiency. Okay, so basically this type of uh, things we can easily get using the leaf area index. So now I talk about show you that how we can easily use the Google Earth Engine platform to uh, get this type of things. So first of all, here you can see I already developed this code in here and try to find out the, you can see the layer about that. So basically, this is my satellite images. In this time here, I put here the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. Here I can get this type of image. 
and from here first of all i need to calculate about the evi so mainly we is identify about that enhanced vegetation index so i can get this type of result and from here i just calculated the leaf area index so mainly it is the leaf area index so from here we can easily identify the crop growth health we can easily identify from here if you want you can simply uh, check in here suppose click on the next tab then i can get this type of result you can see evi and leaf area index value you just run the code again Okay, it's loaded. Suppose I click on this here. So now I show about the what is the result about the EVI and LAI. So here I can get the you can see the EVI value is the 0 0.8 and I can get the leaf area index the 2.96. Suppose I click on here. I can get 2.98. And you can see this type of we can easily identify it is the high uh, indicating the higher value of leaf area index. So for that we can get the high photosynthetic activity for this plant. Okay, and then this plant is more developed than this type of plant. You can see in this time we can get this type of color. Okay, and from here we can easily identify which crop plant uh, growth we can easily identify as well as from this hello. We can easily get about that so you can see here i can get uh, for this uh coordinate i can get the higher will of the leaf area index 3.04 so for that it's identify about that this uh, the activity of the photosynthetic activity is the very high so that's why this uh, plant growth is also high we can easily identify about that so you can see that the lot you can easily get this type of figure and this type of uh deep green color identify about that high leaf air index value which is in uh, including about that your higher growth of the cropland okay so you can see this type of cropland we can get and we can easily from here we can easily find out what is the crop health condition we can easily get from here mainly higher leaf air index value indicating the higher photosynthetic activity and mainly it's indicating about that uh, the um, cropland growth is high for this region you can easily get from here for the large scale monitoring about the leaf area index when you want to put so first of all first of all you need to create about this type of image collection from here you just need to calculate about the this expression you can see so mainly it's the expression about the leaf area index so you can simply call your satellite images then put here the expression function and after that just put the value okay so you can see this is the equation about that you can also get it from here you can see this is the leaf area index equation so leaf area index equal to 3.68 uh, multiply with evi subtract with 0 0.118 okay so in this time first of all you also need to calculate about the evi and what is the evi so evi mainly enhanced vegetation index you can easily calculate using this equation about the evi after that from the evi when you can get that from that you can easily calculate the lai or leaf era index so here you can see i just put the simple formula about that so evi this is my equation and from here i also calculate about the evi and then I put here the, all of those things and I multiply this type of uh, value for the rescaling of my scale band okay for the rescaling the factor of the scale value so such type multiply with that things okay and then finally I can get this type of uh, result so here I can get this type of green color this type of green color identify about that higher leaf area index value which is including the higher photosynthetic activity and this type of i can see the white color we can get this type of white color it's identified the lower leaf area index value which is indicating the lower photosynthetic activity okay so using this technique we can easily uh, find out what is the condition for any crop plant growth and we can easily monitor about their water efficiency also we can easily uh, monitor about their nutrient efficiency as well as monitor the crop health as well as monitor about their um, growth you can easily identify from here so basically this is the technique we can easily use for evi or lai leaf area index and monitor this type of uh, things from the um, from the crop land what is the 
growth as well as water efficiency as well as also we can monitor about the development of the growth or growth of the plant this type of things we can easily monitor from here as well as we can also make the time series chart from that so that's why you can easily get the temporal changes of the growth about the crop or plant we can easily find out that okay so i hope you can uh, enjoy this video if you have any question you can just simply comment in the video description i also uh, try to keep all of the center okay and the meantime i also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program so mainly it will be start from the 12th january 2024 and it will last it is the 11th january and first 10 registered people get the 50 percent discount so basically in this online training program it's for the total seven days online training program and each day for the three hours okay and mainly this training program uh, will be uh, held on the start from the 12th january okay so it's our upcoming best if you are interested to join this online training program you can simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email okay so basically in this online training program i just focus only for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine or who don't have any knowledge about the python or javascript programming so after completing this online training program you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently than uh, using the google earth engine platform so mainly in this online training program we try to cover all of those things in google earth engine platform which you need to start the journey of google earth engine as well as we will try to cover all of those things LLC mapping change detection analysis air quality monitoring time series analysis calculating any indices supervised classification unsupervised classification machine learning algorithm ndvi change detection as well as you can see all of those course content so first day what uh, what you learned second day what you learned so all of those things i already added in my video description you can simply check it from here then you can simply contact in my email and whatsapp then you can easily uh, registration for our upcoming online training program and it's a very important thing is that a benefit okay so basically after completing this online training program you can get the course certificate you can also get the materials so mainly slide pdf all of those things you can easily get you can get the practice code all of this practice code you can also get as well as you can get the recorded video class suppose you miss any live training session then you can easily cover using the recorded video class and finally lifetime teaching support okay so as a beginner so when you want to learn the google earth engine platform you face lot of problems so that's why you need to the continuously support so for getting this continuous support you can get the lifetime teaching support so when you face any issue about the google earth engine when you face any issue in uh, uh coding then you can easily contact with me and you can easily get the feedback and get the solution about that and it's the lifetime teaching support okay when you face any fund any time after completing the total seven days online training program when you face any problem regarding any issue in Google Earth Engine platform or coding, you can simply contact and you can get the support for the lifetime. So it's very benefit for the uh, beginners because when you want to learn the Google Earth Engine platform first time, you face lot of problem. Okay, so that's why you need to the continuously guide. So that's why we are also um, put the this type of benefit lifetime teaching support. When you face any problem regarding any issue, you can get the support. So today is no more. If you want to join this online training program, you can simply contact in this WhatsApp number. You can also contact with this email. Then you can easily get the join. And first 10 registered people will get the 50% discount. So as soon as possible, book your seat and join our Google Classroom. Okay. So thank you. Stay happy. Stay safe.